Hi guys, some of you guys have been asking me whether should you take a taxi driver vocational license course or you should take the private hire driver course. Now the difference is that the taxi course is two day, you have to take three paper. Uh, for private hire is one day course, you will attend and uh, take two paper. Now both exam, as far as the one I went, uh, which everyone is uh, taking the exam at Singapore Polytechnic, uh, on the weekday, I remember, right? And during the exam, it's different by just one hour. So those who are taking the uh, taxi driver exam will stay back for one hour or more. But they are of different classes. Um, I took dry the taxi class because I'm just planning for future and give myself more options uh, if I fully, fully retire one day. Although now I'm a full-time PHV driver for the last uh, six months already. So it's not easy. Uh, thanks for following up my video. Uh, but whatever it is, I just want to say that if you plan to have a short and sharp course, just go for the private hire. And then uh, yeah, and when you don't intend to go to taxi, then save the money. Because if you go for the um, taxi course, the total cost including exam fees is about three less than three slightly less than three hundred, and for the private hire is much cheaper at hundred and fifty five. Uh, uh, that's the current pricing around there. So up to you lah. You can save that hundred uh, plus dollars, hundred and forty dollars, uh, uh, for the third paper. So the the driver. Private hire driver course and taxi course. That difference is that one paper is route planning, so actually it's quite straightforward and easy. Yeah. So if you don't intend to study two days, uh, which I somehow would miss my study days, therefore I went for a two day course, aside as an insurance for future. So I consider and say that since everything was paid under Skill Future, myself I go for the taxi course lah. So I was quite lucky. Um, I fulfill it, uh, pass it all in one sitting, right? So basically, these are the course material. Uh, for NTUC Hub, I think Taxi Academy as well from Comfort Delgro will give you a course material or PPT uh, slides, lah, printed into a nice little booklet. And the instructor will study, uh, will actually go through the lecture, uh, page by page review, lah, make sure you understand. Right along the way, they give you some tips and what you need to mainly remember. Lah. Huh? So for paper one, is mainly on the health uh, safety regulation. Tools are rules and regulation on the um, uh, driving of uh, taxis and PHV. So these two, paper one and paper two, are actually standardized. Lah. Huh? And then the third paper is route planning. And that's why they have given us a street directory and also a Singapore map which I have never used once. Uh. I use our Grab map oh, and uh, Google map all the time. Yeah. So paper three is only route planning. Uh. So they tell you destination uh, one to destination two, which is the fastest route. Because on the system itself, which we use neither Tada to Gojek to Grab or to even Zik, which is owned by Comfort, right? Uh, it's all about the fastest, not the shortest in terms of distance. So it's about the shortest time and not about the shortest distance. Uh. So I have to reiterate. So now sometimes um, a lot of the uh, obvious is by road is very convenient, short, say petrol. However, it's not the fastest. We need to earn money by the minute, right? We are time-based uh, business. Yeah. So the instructor at my course uh, is very interesting. He's full of knowledge and uh, he has decades of experience and share fully on the, um, every aspect of it. Lah. So the tedious part about studying the exam is uh, actually memorizing. right? I think my brain is also rusty. It was difficult to remember all the fines. Lah. Or roughly the fines and the um, traffic offense. Right? Uh, some of them is... Um, well, which is all laid, laid out here. Lah. So you have to remember at what instant what is being fined. Of course... Um, uh, the demerit point or this, uh, you do not have to remember. Uh, yeah, that is. Um, but roughly, you have to remember the penalties, the case of offenses, right? And also um, the rough um, penalty, right? 
and then who, who is in charge of who, right? I make my marking here, it's revoked by LTA, four week suspension. Yeah, so roughly you know, but the, the, it's a multiple choice exam. Uh, it tests a lot of your knowledge. Yeah, so I would advise um, those who are taking this course, uh, prepare before the course. Yeah, um, you can get all this material quite easily online. But on the other hand, from the course to taking the exam is only one week difference. So Monday you attend course and next Monday you're having your exam. That's how quick. And on the spot, you will know your uh, result. And if your results slip, you will go to Singapore Poly um, on a building. Immediately they will issue you a provisional driver, driver license. Immediately you can go to Grab and rent a car, start driving. Uh, I actually, I did it in one single day but I didn't get my car because uh, the car that I wanted at Grab didn't have so I had to come back the next day next morning to queue and see whether there's a car that suits my taste of course as I mentioned in my previous video you can go to other uh, rental company to uh, rent your car and start driving but um, on the aspect uh, for those who have passed the exam get your provisional uh, PHV driver license that piece of sleep allow you go to, to go to Grab but I wouldn't recommend afternoon because by afternoon the cars that you want is normally taken up and you will miss the instructor, the mentor teaching by the time you go because the exam is uh, finished at Singapore Poly about noon so by the time you go to grab let's say at Tampines which is at Tampines phew, my gosh that's after lunch and uh, they will ask you to come back for next day for the mentor programs right where they will teach you how to use a grab the mentor from grab uh, who are actually like one of us, uh, they are drivers actually. So they are being uh, appointed as mentor to teach you how to use the app. And they will even guide you, sit with you, go through the first customer. And it's on the house, the, the customer um, experience, the real client is being uh, given a free ride in the, um, yeah, through, through the sponsorship of Grab. Lah. Yeah. So this video actually just to answer you guys on in the taxi course and the PHV driver cost. So in the end, the choice is yours on which you prefer. You want to save cost and you want it to be faster, easier to pass, then go for PHV driver. But in long term, you think that you might want to use a taxi license as a kind of insurance, then go for the taxi uh, cost. Yeah. So uh, for myself, uh, I didn't pay a single cent thanks to our government because um, at the time I was driving, uh, I'm actually quite broke, right? So, um, due to COVID, three years, and then everything was paid by Skill Future. So, I really thank Skill Future. Thanks our SG, uh, GOV. So, well, that's for today's episode. Eight minutes a bit long, double of what's normal. Thanks for listening, and uh, catch you next time.